please come inside. I'm not leaving. Leave me alone. It's chilly. You're gonna catch a cold. I don't care. Well, at least have some tea. It'll warm you up. What did you put in it this time? Nothing. Please let me help you. I don't want your help. Nice to be very happy to see you. I'm so glad you're here. I came as soon as I got word. You said they called you? Yeah. We were so worried about you. We had no idea where you were. Any news about Paul? Coast Guard still search. Holden, it was horrible. When I got there, he was barely holding on. And then, before I could say a word, he was gone. I'm so sorry. Um, did you say... Anything to anybody about what's, what's going on? No one but Jack, and all I told him was that you and Craig were in Canada. Okay, good. Um, because, um, I don't want Mama to know yet. And then I, I debated about Barbara, but I, I didn't want to upset her for no reason. Because they're going to find Paul. I know they will. And, and as soon as they do, we'll call her and after we get confirmation that he's safe. You look exhausted. Have you eaten? Do you really expect me to think about food? I've offered Holden. She won't take anything. She won't even have a sip of tea. Yeah, with good reason. From what Lucida tells me. You haven't stopped, have you? Look, you need to lie down. You need to get some rest. Oh, look, I'm fine, okay? I, I, I just need some air. I don't know what Lucinda told you, Holden, but I'm sure that her version of events are left of what happened. I think she's probably right on the money. All right, you know what? You want to paint me as the bad guy here, but I'm not. I didn't do anything to Paul. As far as the Coast Guard, they would have given up that search long ago if I wasn't paying for it. And why would you do that? If they wanted to end the search, they must have wanted to do it for a good reason. I'm doing it for your sister. Did you happen to get a look at how distraught she is? She wants to find Paul. That's what we're going to do. You don't give a damn about Paul, right? No, no, but your sister's a different story. I love her, Holden. You're using her. Again. For what possible purpose? I don't know yet. But there must be some reason that you're keeping her hope alive. Because I saw that cliff and there's no way that Paul could have survived that fall. Maybe not. But the fact remains they haven't found him yet. And I am not giving up this search until they do. Okay, so what you're really doing is paying the Coast Guard to hand you a body so that you can declare your enemy dead at last. Oh, that is disgusting. Now, what's disgusting is that you would use my sister's grief as your excuse. How sick can one man be? the Coast Guard to continue the search because Meg will accept nothing less and I don't want her to suffer any more than she If does. she's suffering, it's because of you. It's all your Hold fault. On, you have no idea how things played out that led to Paul's accident. Accident? You expect me to believe that Paul just slipped off those rocks? You lured him there and then you fought him. Am I wrong? All right, you know what? Doesn't matter what I say. You're going to take the worst thing. It's not about my low opinion of you. A man is dead. You know what? I would appreciate it if you keep that speculation to yourself. Meg needs to believe that he's alive. And you're all too willing to feed her that fantasy, aren't you? Has it ever occurred to you it's not a fantasy? Maybe Paul did survive, but why are you so eager to rip away her last shred of hope? I'm just trying to help her. Oh, just like you helped her when you offered to give Lucinda's company back if she married you? You have been using her at every turn, and this time is no exception. Meg married me of her own free will, and I don't care what you say. I had nothing to do with what happened to Paul. Paul, you were threatened by Paul's feelings for Meg since day one. And the closer you got to the wedding, the more worried and jealous right, you, you know what? This is just That's why you practically had to kidnap her to get her here. And then Paul found you, and that burned you up. It doesn't take a detective to figure out what really happened. What exactly are you accusing? You of pushed Clinton. Paul over that cliff. And the only reason you're paying for this search is because you know that he didn't live to tell the truth about what happened. Stop it, Holden. I don't want to hear anymore. Meg, it's time that somebody told the truth here. It might as well be me. You don't know what the truth is. So leave Craig alone. If I don't know the truth, then tell me, Meg, what really happened? I'm not sure. All I know is whatever happened, it's not Craig's fault. How can you defend him after everything that he's done? You don't understand. Craig tried to save Paul. No. No way. I saw no. it. I saw it. Paul was barely hanging on, and Craig tried to pull him up. That's what I told the police. What's the matter, Holden? Doesn't jive with what Lucinda told you? Craig has been doing his best to save Paul's life, and now he's doing his best to try and find him. And I, for one, am grateful. 
Doesn't it matter to you that Craig is the reason that Paul's missing in the first place? Did you forget that after he drugged you? I'm perfectly fine now. No, you're not. Because the Meg I know would be angry that she was drugged. Angry that Craig lied and lured Paul out to that cliff. None of that matters because I was the one that started all this. What are you talking about? I was the one that lied, Holden. I married Craig under false pretenses. I let him think that Paul and I were over, and that was wrong. Meg. It's okay. Craig knows now. He knows that I've always been in love with Paul. And did he find that out before or after Paul fell? It doesn't make a difference now. Meg, of course it makes a difference. And if you can't see that, it's only because Craig has got you scared and, and, and guilty. And he's using that. Come on, now, who is using who here? My wife has admitted that another man is her lover. I am setting aside my ego to finance a search for him. Now, what is in that for me except humiliation? A get-out-of-jail-free call. Holden, I cannot tell you what it is you want to hear because I didn't kill Paul. When I found out that I had been lied to and tricked and made a fool of, did I want to have revenge? Yes. Did I want revenge on him? Yes. But I did not push him off that cliff. I did everything that I could to try to save him. And what's more, she saw it. What about what she didn't see? She wasn't around to see how you lured Paul out there in the first place. Okay, you know what? That's enough. Like, you're right. It is enough. Get your things. I'm getting you out of here. We're going home. No, Lynn. Meg, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, I, I really think this. Stop reason... it, Alden. I'm not leaving. No matter what that man said. I know how difficult it is for you to let go, but uh, I think it would be best. Go home and let your family see you through. Why are you talking like Paul or dead? Because he's not. So there's nothing to see through. Okay, you didn't hear what the Coast Guard just told me. Okay, well, what does he know? Does he know how strong Paul is? Does he know how much he loves me? Sometimes love isn't enough. Sometimes it's the difference between life and death. here. Paul had no choice but to follow me. So don't you see? It doesn't matter whether or not Craig was on the cliff with Paul. It was my fault. It was my fault. He went over there. He went over that cliff. So I can't. I have to stand by him. Holden, I have to stand by him. And no matter what anybody says. You know what? Let me just take you home. You need to be with your family. No, no, no. It's not a good idea for you to stay here with Craig right now. Please. Just let me take you home. My wife has made it clear. She's not ready to leave. So, maybe hold him. Maybe you should be the one to go. Forget it, Craig. I'm not leaving unless Meg wants me to. I want you to.
right here. Until we hear word from Paul. We'll stay here as long as you say.